Aloha, and welcome to another edition of Two Minute Teaching Tips by BYU Hawaii Center for Learning and Teaching. Today's tip is how to improve the quality of students' writing that they're submitting for their final papers at the end of the semester by using the peer review feature on Canvas to um, engage the students. I've talked to a lot of teachers and I've never talked to a teacher that has told me, you know, I enjoy reading bad papers at the end of the semester. Pfft, nobody said that. <laughs> Everybody always enjoys reading great papers at the end of the semester that demonstrate student learning and student learning is what it's all about. So let's take a look. Here we go. We're looking at a course here. It's actually from Rebecca Wolfersberger, my wife. Um, and this is an assignment that she gives in her oral fluency class. And the, in this assignment, students make a recording and this is a peer review. And I'm going to I'm going to go in here to edit so I can show you where to do this. So when you have any assignment, let's say you've got an, your assignment for your final paper on Canvas, you come into that assignment. And if you come down here, um, you can see the um, things here. You allow file uploads and she does media recordings because they're oral um, recordings that they're submitting. Um, but right here, this button here, peer reviews, and it says require peer reviews. When you click this button, that will send out um, submissions to the students so that they can re re review each other's work. And there's a couple options. You can manually assign peer reviews. That's where you decide who gets whose papers, or this seems to be the easiest, automatically assign peer reviews, and you tell, the, tell Canvas how many papers is each student gonna get to review. And you do that. And then this is the next important thing right here. This is the time when the peer reviews are sent out to the students. So if students have not submitted their papers before this time, their paper will not be in the batch for peer reviews, number one. And number two, that student will not get peer papers to peer review themselves. So it's critical that you emphasize with the students that they have to have their papers submitted by this time. So once you activate that feature um, on your assignment, I'm just gonna push cancel there so I don't mess up her assignment. Um, then it once, once it hits that due date and that submission time, it will send out the peer reviews. And here's what you can see as, as the teacher. So when you click here on peer reviews, um, you can see which students have been assigned to which other students to peer review. So as you can see here, this student has been assigned three papers. This is the three students that that student's reviewing and et cetera. If you have a student that is submitted late and they didn't get in this batch, or they didn't get assigned any peer reviews, you can come to this page and right here, this button over here on the right, it says assign peer reviews. And, and you can click that to help um, assign students peer reviews that might've missed out. Then um, I'm gonna show you one more, one more thing um, on this that's important to see. Okay, and then when, when students are finished, you come to the speed grader. I'm gonna open this here. And in the speed grader, you can see the comments that students made um, in order to grade the peer reviews. So here, she actually has a rubric in here. So the students are using this rubric um, to score the assignment and the students are, are giving each other grades based on this rubric. But, um, sorry, let me close this. Um, but you can also see the assignments um, or see the comments that students have made. So for example, if you come here, you can look at this student and, um, this student peer reviewed um, the student that's up here in this box. This student peer reviewed their work. That's how they assign the rubric. And you can see their comments that they that they that the different students who reviewed the work made. So you get to see everything that happened on that peer review. Now you can't assign a grade for doing the peer review unless, so in other words, they get you can give them a grade for submitting the assignment, but actually doing the work of the peer review requires one more step. And here it is. I'm going to show you this. She's got um, in this next year. She's actually created a quiz called Peer Review Check. You go in and you create a quiz. And I'm just going to preview this quiz so that we can see what she's got in here. And this is what the students take after they do the peer review. Um, and her directions say after the peer review is done, question one, did you complete three peer reviews? And there you go. And once they say yes, she goes back and she checks to make sure that they have done it. But then this gives them 10 points for doing the peer review. Now, after you do a peer review, you can tell your students to use that feedback that they got from the other students to revise their draft and use that to make revisions to submit a final draft. And 
That is one way that you can improve the quality of the final papers that you're going to be reading at the end of the semester, even though we're doing it at online and in a different environment. I hope you liked it. That's our tip for today, using peer reviews to improve the quality of the final submissions that students make in your class. Aloha and happy teaching.